back everyone. Today not much in the way of rainfall across the CSRA, but the heat and humidity certainly was on. As far as the radar goes, nothing going on. And check this out, the high temperature in Augusta Bushfield made it all the way up to a 91 degrees. Morning low started out at 73. No rainfall today as I said before, but as far as for the month of August, four inches on the nose. Right now, currently, we have a reading of 79 degrees. Check this out. The dew point, 73 degrees with a relative humidity at 81%. Yeah, that's making it feel pretty sticky out across the CSRA at this hour. Southeasterly winds around 7 and the barometric pressure is on the rise across the two state region. You can see here's our reading in Augusta of 79 degrees, 77 in Columbia, 77 in Athens, 79 in Atlanta. Putting the clouds on the map, you'll notice we still have some clouds across the CSRA at this hour. These clouds should dissipate overnight tonight and then tomorrow we'll see more clouds build with the heating of the day across the southeast. You'll notice with the heating of the day, we did have the scattered showers and thunderstorms develop right along coastal areas. But as far as inland, we were fairly dry. We did have a few isolated showers in the CSRA around uh, six o'clock this evening. And then you can see down here in the corner of your screen. This is Hurricane Katrina. I'm going to put the fronts on the map and I got a couple things I want to point out to you. First of all, we do have a frontal boundary uh, just to our west an area of low pressure off of the South Carolina coast. And then down here, this is Hurricane Katrina, which is now a Category 3 storm. Watch as I put the map in motion. Low pressure off the coast starts to scoot off towards the north and east. Frontal boundary approaches from the west, but this front not making its way into our area. Tail end of it just stalling out. And it's actually this frontal boundary that's going to allow Hurricane Katrina to push off towards the north and eventually make landfall somewhere near the Louisiana. Louisiana coast. As far as the satellite image goes of Hurricane Katrina, this is it. We have a monster of a storm just taking up a huge piece of real estate out here across the Gulf of Mexico. And as far as, as 11 p.m. goes, this is the current position at 25.0 north, 86.2 west, has winds right now of 115 miles per hour. This puts the storm as a category three storm, very dangerous storm, about 335 miles to the south southeast of the mouth of the Mississippi River. And that's just right up here in about the center of your screen. As far as the forecast goes, right now the storm is moving off to the west and northwest around 7 miles per hour, but eventually it's going to curve up towards the north and it could make landfall anywhere in between this cone. But we think this area in red is going to be the area where we're going to see the worst impact as far as winds and flooding rain. So notice we are about right here on the map, so we're not going to see much in the way of the heavy rains and the wind damage, but you can see right here with the track of the storm. That's where we have the greatest fl flooding threat. But then as the storm makes a landfall, we're going to pick up this flow from the Gulf of Mexico. So that's why we have to keep a good chance for rain and thunderstorms in our forecast. But as far as our forecast for tonight goes, warm and humid, low temperatures dropping down near 72 degrees. And then as we head into tomorrow, high temperatures reaching into the upper 80 scattered storms in the afternoon. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy skies and checking out the next five days. About a 50-50 chance for rain Monday and Tuesday as Hurricane Katrina makes landfall somewhere in the northern Gulf Coast. But Kate, the nice thing is once this storm makes landfall mm -hmm. and then gets to our north, we just have beautiful weather to look forward to on the other side of that storm. So uh, let me tell you, I'm just looking forward to that. As am I. Good, <laughs> good news. Thanks, Melinda. Thank you. Some joy Hello and welcome back. Looks like the hottest temperatures of the season are on their way. I'll have the details on that in just a moment. But first, here is a look at live triple Doppler 12 radar and watch as the radar makes its scan across the CSRA. You'll notice no color on the map, no thunderstorm.